we lie? Uh, we lie? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we are, as ever, creeping towards our final goals. Three science per second continuously, no matter which science pack we're running. Uh, I was actually looking at this little build for Holmium Cables. Telling Damsel about it the other day. Uh, and then I realized with the little rate calc... Oh, these belts are totally... Totally unnecessary. I hope that background noise is inaudible. I thought I had waited it out. Well, we'll just have to power through. Uh, but yeah, in any case, individually, these actually only need 50 plates per second. I'm not sure where I got the idea that they needed uh, two belts of plate. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ilka, welcome in also. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, like, rate calc two of these together and thought that that was what each individual uh, advanced assembly machine needs. Um, which is weird because we know that the limit for the output for these two is 180 two purple belts. Uh, but yeah, we really don't need this much. So... So let's get rid of this extra belt, I suppose. We can send the Spidertron to do that. It's just a little... It's just a little thing. And come on back. You're not going to walk over any spaceships. Alright, cool. So, don't actually need this. Uh, these are now filtered for plastic and plate. And the only downside is now we can't clearly see when the plate has stopped. Although I guess if, if there's only one icon here, we know we've got trouble. All right, so what's our next bottleneck to shift? Uh, wait, no, stop, stop. Don't you have RoboPort? Oh, <laughs> you don't have RoboPorts. <laughs> because that's my transport spider. How silly of me. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. I meant to do that. Tyler, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um So what are we what are we working on right now? I vaguely recall something that I might have done offline. Or maybe I just wanted to let it run to make more modules or something. Whatever it was, I didn't get around to it. Hey, this is empty. Uh, where's our decon train? Let's let's grab it while it's still here and head on over this way. Head on over this way and pick up the old copper mine. I think it can probably reach up here. Oh, can it not reach its destination now? No, we're good. Fantastic. Uh, and then... On the way back... Park around about here. That's probably more stops than we need. definitely more stops than we need. It's fine. Oh, 
didn't even realize this juts out here. I'm doing, hope you're well too. Not too bad, thanks. Oop, don't need any cliffies. And that's it, nice and clean. Alright, back to the mall with you. So where's our bottleneck right now? That would be a good that would be a good place to figure out where we should build next. Uh, we're currently researching, so everything's saturated here, so it's a little hard to tell. Best you can hope for sometimes, yeah. Um. Hmm. How's our cryonite? We expanded it not that long ago. Oh, wait, wait. No, I forgot. We did... Did, did I not, like, enable this? Products finished. Thousands. Okay, no, that is... That is all good. Is Zakhol out of resources or something? 62,000. No, it's not. Uh, why are we not... Oh. Because we haven't reached our threshold at the pickup station specifically. I think it's about to... It's about to let the next ship land here. That's fine. I guess. There's only one ship on the way, right? There's two. Are we bottlenecking on this? Philip B, thank you so much for the 14 months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Bellin, welcome in. Hi, at last stream we didn't finish the new design for Module Tier 9. Oh no, I remember that. Yeah, which as soon as I flick back to the editor, we're confronted with this again. So the reason we're redesigning this is it ends up being too much for the bots to... Uh, to move the many, many, many solids that we're dropping off at these stations to where they need to go. Uh, so for at the very least for most of it, we want to... Uh, we want to do some direct belting. But fitting it all together nicely is a bit of a challenge. Okay. It's not crucial that we do this, but sometimes even when we've got all the materials, we're not making modules as fast as we should be. And the sooner we get tier 9 modules, uh, prods in particular, everywhere, we can cut down on how many physical resources we actually have to move back here to keep up with our targets. Not to mention... Cut down on the number of machines we need, the number of actual modules we need, even though we have to pour far more resources and lower tier modules into the higher tier ones. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the bots... Uh, the bots don't keep up with this current arrangement. Excuse me. That's why we're doing this now. Um, I am just a little curious about Zakhol, though. Maybe I should limit it to only one spaceship to come here at a time. Um, we did tap every single drill, uh, core seam on Zakhol. Oops. There's... Let's see. Uh, 16 drills... Wait, that's 15. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just accidentally find out? 16. Oh? What happened here? What? What the? What? I, okay. 
Uh, well, that's something to do. Let's head over there. Maybe the, uh... Maybe we accidentally ordered cliff explosives with the bots or something. I don't know. In any case... Uh, it's gonna require our attention. Don't... Don't, don't float across the tracks, please. And we're going to Zakhol. We'll just park at the orbit. And I'll just fly down there. It's getting quite hot here. My fan is starting to grind a little bit. Which is a little bit of a worry. I tested it and apparently you can't hear it through the microphone with the filters. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Now ETA is 36 seconds game time, which is a bit over a minute. Uh, I guess while we're flying, let's see what we can figure out here. As I recall, there was some silly oversight. Um, that made me have to reevaluate the shape of all of this just a little bit. So we can get two items each, two solids, um, and all of these require th two other solids for input besides the direct input from the lower tier module. Did I just, like, put one of the solids in the wrong spot or something? So, how are we gonna... Oh no, that's that was it. That was the oh no moment. How are we gonna get the, uh, the belt in here? Let me just clear this out. Make a copy and play with it, just in case we want to revert back. Now, I could... Oops. I could have the inputs kind of like this. Well, no, this one would have to be different. But maybe they'll have to, like, alternate so there's room. We want to have three chests of storage for each drop-off so that we can comfortably fit a train load and a half. Hmm. And we want to be able to direct belt from all of these. How many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, plus 6, four, six uh, 16... Seventeen. Yeah, we need about this much room. Uh, for all of the... To, well, I guess we don't have to try as hard to minimize the distance that the bots need to travel to get stuff from the purple chest to the, uh... what's gonna be a filtered storage chest. Or it could be a requester. Either way would be... F no, it wouldn't. We don't want them requesting it from the red chests. I think I do want to use red chests just so that we can lazily... But we, we either connect all of this with green wire or we use a roboport uh, that spits out contents of the robot network to the LTN stations. Um... Only trouble with that is I don't really want the robo network to stretch across to a nearby block, but I guess we could always do something like this. Uh, read logistic network contents. But in any case, we could probably stretch this out a little bit, so like, you know, these just line up where they need to. So that we don't need some twisty spaghetti belt. 
Because as long as the bots don't have to travel, like, down here, back and forth, I think they'll manage. We should be here already. Um... I don't think we need cliff explosives, but I'll take some just in case. Already had some. Anchor to Zakol Orbit. Far enough away that that shouldn't connect. Fantastic. And down we go. To the southmost train stop. I do wish the amount I could squeeze into the top tier uh, roster suit was just a little bit more. Alright, give me... Did I already pick it up just by walking next to it? I guess so. Give me the core drill, please. And that's it. Work complete. Alright, back upstairs we go. This is connected, right? Yeah, I'm sure we checked all of those before. Up, up, up we go. Back into space. Um, so I wanted to check out, whoops, Make sure we're not standing in the... where the train can come. Um, I wanted to check our max rate. Which will go up when we finish researching, uh, mining productivity again. And again and again and again, but still. Uh, alright, that's 16 tags, and... 16 drills. 3.7 triple five times 16, 60.08, just over three stacks per second. Uh, the ships can run about 22,000. Uh, what is it? 22,400 core francs. So around uh, back of the envelope calculation, we need. A ship every six minutes and a bit. Uh, yeah, it's like six... In the vicinity of six minutes, twelve seconds. Considering that the ships can get here literally in like a minute, uh, I think we should probably... Uh, where are we going? I think we should probably limit the ship uh, the, the ships coming to this particular outpost to one at a time. We don't need uh, this guy parking here. All right, back to Hagen orbit. Um, and I'm going to turn off the auto clamp so we can jump into the editor in the meantime. I guess just a bit more verticality is all we need here, right? To make this work. Just need to stretch this out a little bit. So that we can fit input like so. Something like that. And then...
I haven't even labeled all these yet. Let's just ditch this. Alright, we've got room for this, right? Like, vertically? Just barely. Still, that, that should be fine. Is there no way we can somehow make this fit just a little bit better? I think there is. So we can move those up just one tile. And I guess to continue the pattern to make it fit on this side, we're compelled to put that on the right side both times. Uh, except... No, no, no except. Uh, except this. That, that one's a problem. We can't get the uh, output from these two down to the machine. I, I, maybe if we... If we do this over and over? That looks kind of weird. But it should work. And we have to put it here. Right, I kind of like that. And that's it, right? Except we don't need as many down this way. We need four solids here. Uh, and then just two. That's pretty neat. Alright, so now we... How many of these? 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. How did I think it was 16? Whatever, that's fine. Uh, so if we simply put these here... And then not here, not here, not here. Right? Hold up. Yeah, we only need two over here, and then one, and one. It's going to look a little weird, I guess, but it's probably going to look less weird than having belts twist and turn to make it work. You now have overlapping undergrounds. Uh, yeah, we just fixed that, right? Or did we? Okay, so the first two are going to be Heavy Girder Material Catalog 1. Cat one goes here. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, next is Bio Scrub Bio Catalog One. Scrub. 
it's fixed, but now still missing two inputs. Well, I'm sure we'll bump into them. Uh, and then Holmium Cable Energy Cat 1. Oops. The ever voracious Holmium Cables. This thing can eat 80 Holmium Cables per second. Just... Just for efficiency fives. If, it, if we go as fast as the, as the machine. Uh, which presumably we won't. Um, I, I'm sure we don't need any beacons here or anything. It's going to be an awkward fit for whatever size beacons. Don't really think they're necessary. Except maybe for where we use the prod modules. Hmm. Oh? No. Uh oh. Now we could use some long arms here. No, but then the reason that I put the uh, solid fuel here was so that we could have this nice simple piece of piping. I guess it's no big deal if it zigzags over this way a bit. Um, can we, like, move these over potentially well regardless I think we should use is that audible looks like no uh, I think we should squeeze in a beacon 2 over here which I'm going to have to do this way. Because I don't particularly want to pay 15 megawatt for these to run very, very slowly. Didn't hear anything? Fantastic. Turtle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um... All right. We're just using sixes because we've already got a practically infinite supply of sixes. And they're just a balance between cheap and powerful. So then we put another one of these down here. And our tier ones will be super, super fast. Now, do we want to repeat that... All the way across here. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe... Just like two and two modules. It's more than enough to bottleneck on resource inputs. Uh, why don't we do a module insert? Where's the assembly th machine? God. I wish we could sort these. Okay, speed 6. Efficiency 6. And... Go. Need the actual bots to do it, though. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if... Uh... No, that's fine. I was thinking of tossing these on the ground and then having construction bots grab them. But uh, this is actually easier. What? Where, where did they go? Uh, why don't I just do a... Infinity Passive Provider. Where are you coming from? Uh, we need construction bots, I think. There we go. Physically, one super construction bot could have done that very, very quickly, but I think all of our construction bots are so busy that the orders for each robo-network block are coming in waves. Uh, 
Hurry up, I could do this myself. Good grief. Alright, that's all of them, yes. So, we're still looking at, like, for example, 50 holmium cable per second. Uh, and we're also net negative on each lower tier module. So, we're not actually getting 0.37 efficiency 6s per second. Uh, we're getting, like, A little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, each step back. Except for tier 1, which should be way faster than... It, not way faster than necessary. But it is faster than necessary to feed the T2s. That's fine. Anyway, let's keep filling this out and see where the... Uh, see where the problem is, if anywhere. Okay, uh, this one should be heavy bearing. And material catalog 2. Uh, bio and energy. Catalog 2. Good. And then we need Vitalic Reagent, Chromium Solenoid. Nice. Oh, and the fact that we're getting tier 6s already tells us everything else is in place, at least for testing. Zinder, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I see, if you don't know advanced circuitry going in, you will by the time you come out. Exactly. Exactly. Alright, so this is a comprehensive catalog, and this is our only tier 4 on the ground, which is mechanical or material. Comprehensive bio cat. And this is heavy assembly. Uh, and I've actually filled them out already. Alright, what's missing here? Is this what we missed earlier? Oh, and these two. Heavy composite, vitalic re uh, epoxy. Heavy comp. And that's a lot of heavy comp. That stuff's expensive. That is a lot, a lot of heavy comp. What's missing here? It's missing hit. Wait, what? Speed threes, speed twos, small electrics. Okay. So we should sp uh, should see speed modules get all the way to the end now. We've got our efficiency six. Rod 7, speed 6, now what? Oh, are we not, oh, oh, oh. How much needs to flow for this? 
not much. 207 per second. Looks like we're bottlenecking on solid fuel. Well, some of it is going to the train, but that'll stop eventually. Yeah, we should be positive on solid fuel. Um, come to think of it, we may as well give the bots a shorter trip to get this stuff to the train. Anyway. Speed 3. Speed 4. 5. Six. And I'm pretty sure the rest is already in place. Fantastic. And if we see one input in here, we know it's good. That's why I placed this here, so that the lube would line up. Okay, uh, so we might want to tidy up on the left side a little bit with these belts. Hmm. Where to exactly? How many is this? Sixteen. I mean, it's not going to get that much tidier if I shuffle this around, right? I guess I could put the copper here. Which means... We put this here. Is that really so much better? Wait, what? No. Stop. Wait, is that supposed to be glass? No, it's not. Hmm. I mean, I could just have the bots bring this right over here. It's the wrong item in it. What's this supposed to be? Uh, glass, right? don't like this. Let's just, let's just do it like that, like we were doing. That's not too bad, I guess.
Okay. So we need to do some big old request to stations. Um, we're going to need some mini roboports. Don't really fit this anywhere, but he actually. No, that's probably fine. Oh, hold on. I bet I could put this in construction. No, hold on. Logistic mode's too big. Construction mode is going to be weird, right? If it touches the robot networks. Could probably move this down a little bit. Oh, um, don't forget we need to... We need output... No, these are input stations from the old stuff. Wait, why are we green chesting requesting the tier ones? Oh, I see. That's fine, I guess. Green chest is actually irrelevant. But yeah, these are... No, wait, these are passive providers. Because these go directly into science, right? Yeah, so we do need to export the tier 1 modules. Uh, and the rest is just inputs and our one little station uh, for taking up the very slow final products up the elevator. Okay. Um, I think we can literally just copy-paste this part. And where are we going to fit our pylon? Normally it would go here. Oh, we're one off. If I move this one tile to the right, that wouldn't fit. I know I can just just build it here, but that would make me sad. I could make an itsy bitsy teeny weeny exception. Over here for the, uh, Holmium plate. I suppose. This is a little bit more consistent. It's that or move the entire apparatus. I don't want to do that. Alright, um, so... Output stations. We need three long ones. Can we just do it like this? This one's not going to work out so conveniently. Uh, I guess... This is fine. Does does this also work? It does. I think. Okay, if we don't mind like defining this whole oh. If I do a curve there I can't put a signal like this. So, are we stuck with this mess? I think so. I can't really fit signals to carve this up into an, a, a separate sector. Um, but it's not like we're going to have so, so much train traffic for the tier 1 modules. I think we could probably get away with just making this one sector in the rail. I mean, if we, if we stop making modules, what's our throughput? 
of consuming tier one modules. We're looking for three per second. Oh, it's like less than one per second. And I imagine it'll be the same for the others. Where do the speed ones go? Into rocket tech cards. Those are on the ground. Rocket tech card. Oh, we haven't prod nined this. This last step at least would be pretty cheap. Come to think of it, we haven't revisited what our module settings are for this. I bet we could do it with one machine. Probably wouldn't even need maxed out modules for the speed and efficiency. Minus 80%. Is that the right ratio? It is. Okay, so... 2.25 per second is a little slow. Green won't overlap networks. It's only the orange connects. Orange connects. Green won't overlap networks. Sorry, I, I kind of missed it. I don't get the question now. Plus 600%. Minus 80. For the robopods. Oh, right. Yeah, I think so. But it should be fine either way. Anyway, how fast is one of these? 4.5. Cool. So we can do that with just four tier nines, albeit quite a few more, uh, a, a ten more speed and efficiency nines. Oh, um, kind of got sidetracked here. That would only be looking for like 0.3 of each of these per second. Less than that, actually. And the consumer of the tier one module. Where? Wait, where am I going with this? Oh, it's directly the rocket tech cards. So we need like 0.3 per le less than 0.3 per second, right? For the end game. Our goal is three per second. Uh, it's three point six. 2.7, 3.3, sure. Okay, so less than 0.23 per second. Um, uh, that's that's going to be a train every 21,700 seconds. 362 minutes. A train every six hours for the tier one modules, for example. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about this being uh, only one train sector over here. Alright. So then we just do the standard. Uh, efficiency, front speed... I don't want to shuffle those around. Speed, prod, efficiency. That does not say... Wait, what? I'm so confused. Speed, prod, efficiency. Okay, cool. Um, should we belt those over? I don't see why not. 
and we'll... There's no need to store up a surplus, right? Since they're going to be consumed so slowly for, uh, for science. One makes four. Although the stack size is four times bigger. Uh, half a trainload of utility science packs is 50k. Right? No, that's not right. 10k. Where did I get 50,000 from? On the other hand, giving it this little buffer means we can make the belts a little bit more elegant. No, I kind of want to put it in the same order of, as these, actually. Alright, so we're going to do... Output, output, output. That should be fine. One, two, three. And... Some of those, yep, have already found their way down there. So red, uh, blue, red, green, I guess. Which is what we already did. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, don't forget to tell LTN what's in here. Um, and we're going to limit each loader to the size of one cargo wagon. Good. Fantastic. Wunderbar. Uh, and we're going to need some... That's a compact beacon. Some mini roboports, please. Right about here. And here. How far apart is that? Perfect. Uh, and I guess we don't need the bots to go down this way, except for this, for this chest. Don't really need that to be so far away. I guess we could belt the fuel as well. Why don't we do that? All right. Put you here. And that actually does fit down here. And we'll just make it plainly obvious whether or not there's fuel for the train. Cool. I could go to the trouble of using a space locomotive for this train that barely ever goes upstairs and we could make it even slower. This isn't going to be running when we're doing science anyway. So I'm not particularly worried about the slow train slowing down the other trains with traffic. 
And that way we don't need bots for this part either. All good. I wonder if we could move this in a little bit. So then we just make these filtered storage chests. That's one easy way to do it without having to look up the resource. And we can easily see which one we've done already. Well, I guess... They don't all drain out so quickly. Alright. So then we get RSI. One click at a time. Where is that coming from? It's... it's... it's not... Uh, so this is, yeah, machine learning data. Alright. 18 to go. Um... Might want to also let LTN know what's in these stations. So that it can account for what the bots haven't picked up, slash hasn't been put in the robot network yet. In case there's a little bit of a jam. We also want to know how much fuel we've got. As long as we do our requests right, it shouldn't matter that these two are touching each other. Gotta get that APM up. My poor hands. Oh no. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't do too many of these all at once. Need to do the requests still. Oof, that's a lot. Well, we know what, how many items are here? 16 plus light oil. Uh, I can't fit it all on one combinator. No. I just barely can't fit it on one combinator. Uh, this one's 18, 19 as well. Rude. Oh, wait. No, that's fine. I guess we're doing this. All right. So it was... Let's just do all the solids first. Copper plate. Uh, glass. Electronic components. Green and red circuits and blue circuits. Uh, 
small electric sulfur battery. That's red circuit. Iridium plate, holmium plate, and spice, I mean extract. Uh, Immersite crystal, hot and cold. I want to put these together in groups. What did I leave out now? Red, green, blue, and components. And I guess I'll put the oil here. Okay, those are going to be negative numbers, but uh, 20 minus 4, 16. We're missing something, right? Glass? No? What are we missing? Oh, machine learning data. Doesn't really fit anywhere, does it? Machine learning data. Okay, and on this side we've got... Uh, let's do the catalogs first. So it's every catalogue except for blue. Uh, mechanical uh, material goes all the way to four. Bio goes to three. And energy only goes to two. Can't fit of a nice way. Bit of a nice way? What? Can't think of a nice way to fit that together. Energy one. Energy two. Bio. And material. Uh, and then we're missing heavy composite, heavy girder. Wait, I put this in the wrong place. That's easy enough to fix. So we want, let's put all the heavy things together first. And then bio things, scrub, uh, reagent, and epoxy, and epoxy. Uh, and then there's the whole meme cable, homonomonum solenoids, and I think that's it. Uh, lubricant. 
Okay, cool. So, 7,500 for all the stack size 50 items. And there's a lot of them. How would you design the UA to make this better? These are all 50, right? Yeah. Oh wow, literally everything here. Except for the lubricant, of course. Is stack size 50. So that's that one done. And we've got stack sizes galore over here. Here's a 200. Alright, stack size 200 is 30k. 200 hundred times 1.5 is 150 stacks. Which means the trains will be scheduled once we're down to 50 stacks. Which is... Probably far more than we need. Um, it's fine. Any other stack size 200s? Just glass. 15k for all things stack size 100. Uh, you're a little bit different. So that just leaves Iridium Plate. 6,000. And everything is set negative. Because we want the trains to come and bump it up towards zero. Looks good. Uh, and this, we want the requests to be switched off at first just to make sure we have everything in place before we summon 60,000 trains. I guess I could set train limits so we don't literally summon, like, what is it, like 19 trains at a time. And that might be a good idea. Let's just limit it to two. I'm sure two trains coming in at any one time is more than enough. All right, back to patching over these filtered Logi storages. Hello there, Pospec. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. My inventory is going to fill up with crap doing it this way, but it's just that little bit easier. Simply emptying the hand. And finally, extended catalog four. Or rather, Material Extended. Extended Catalog 4 is perhaps a little redundant. What's going on here? Oh, no, nothing. Yeah, that's supposed to be like that. I can't believe it's been 28 months. Me neither. Maki, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for 28 months. My goodness. Very much appreciated. Thank you. All right. I think that's... Uh, I think that's the build. At last. This should be much, much, much better. It's 
It's also much better to look at. Much cleaner. It'll be a lot better for the bots as well. And we can kind of see more clearly where the resources are missing at a glance. I'm not going to bother making a trash train to get rid of anything that shouldn't be in this robot network. We could just do that manually. Okay. Let's make a blueprint. Didn't name the stations yet. Don't particularly want to do hieroglyphics including 17 different solids. Um, so I think I'll just say everything requester for modules up to... Uh, what is it? Up to four? I guess I'll just do, like, one type of module to illustrate it. Or I could do these three. That seems good. Uh, I'm going to use the same naming convention here, but it's speed 8, quad 7, efficiency 6. Do you have in signals the outer thing for speed 8 other than catalog? Have in signals... Uh, you mean all of this? Our requests? Or do you mean this stuff? I got a little bit lazier and stopped putting stuff back into the containers. As we were setting the filters over here, if that's what you mean. Alright, that seems pretty good. And... Uh, ground modules. Files, train stop names. We don't have any more cheat items in here. Snap to 86.25.1. And... I don't know where to put this. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So actually building this thing, uh, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit of a chore. Moving a bunch of this stuff around that's already in storage. I guess we could just bring a ton of construction bots. Lube and light oil. It's going to need moving around. Hmm. Oh, let's get down there. Ooh. Half a stack of speeds and prods? Don't mind if I do. We've also got only three efficiency modules waiting over here. 34... F oh, oh, we've got like... We're getting close to two stacks of efficiency modules now. Uh, half a stack of speeds and 37 prods. To do with as we please. Build it on another square, then decommish the old one. We'd still have to move all the old stuff around. And I'm pretty sure I want it located here anyway. Oh, 
have I still not fixed this? I haven't. Okay, so that's on the to-do list. Now then, I guess we'll take the spider for some extra storage space. How many construction bots do I have? Enough. Uh, how far? I don't think we can get away with a super robopot here, can we? Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? I think this is going to touch some other... Oh yeah, it is. Which means we're going to have to have these nasty slow charges. Let's grab some mini ones. You've got the shirt music? Shirt music? Oh, see if I got it right. Uh, welcome in Glacier Wolf. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Professional Dave. Good to see you again also. And of course, Veldak. Where is my... Why has it got to be the construction train? There we go. Uh, mini... No, it's called a small robot. Come to sleep on your furniture and... Wait, what? Scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Alright, let's grab that. So we're gonna conscript the bots to doing a lot of the work moving this stuff around. Should turn off my robot port. And we'll just make some temp storages over here. Uh, that's probably enough, I hope. Which side does the oil go on? This side. Okay. We switch off the requests. Fantastic. Uh, add a bunch of mini roboports. Try and keep the robots from using the slow regular roboport to recharge. And mark for decon. No! Oh, even you? What? Where are you coming from? What? Oh, it's the same... It's the construction bot network from the from the mall. Uh, why you gotta do me like that? Well, as long as there's like 150 stacks of something, it'll find its way back here. See you, Con. Welcome in. At least some of it's getting stored locally. Bruh. We really don't need more solid fuel in these chests. Maybe if I keep the deconstruct requests low enough, they'll stick to this block. Ugh. 
Looking forward to the logistics settings for the Roboports. Oh, four Roboports, as in it was previewed in Triple F, right. Was that the latest Triple F, or have we already looked at that? I have to take a break for my voice before we do the Triple F. A few ago, okay. Uh, I guess we can copy this part and start pumping the lubricant across. I was going to say, do I not have the large storage tanks? Forgot that I disabled my robots. Uh, the lube is only needed for the top tier. Yeah. Not going to worry about that right now. Okay, pick this up. So why are we... oh. Wait, what? Why are we not emptying this train? Oh, we are trying to empty this train. Still emptying this stuff. What a mess. So we're bottlenecked on 90 items per second out of everything that was picked up over here. Sure. Nope, 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 nope. Your, your help is not needed. <sighs> okay. Maybe that was too greedy. Maybe that was a bit too much. Let's pick these up while we wait. Is this already full? It is. Hmm. I was hoping to get rid of the last of this solid fuel here. Not a drop was wasted. Speaking of which, lubricant has been pumped. Fantastic. And now, whoops. Now we can start moving the light oil. They're still fairly quick, even at this range. It's kind of amazing that 
There's so much item throughput that they couldn't keep up with the the last version. I do like that the new version looks so much nicer though. Oops. And I guess we could just do this here. That should be pretty quick. Two point eight K per second and dropping. Two point four. Fantastic. And empty. Beautiful. Alright, so now we just start picking up the last of these chests. Is that already empty? Nice. Now we're going to start picking up all this other stuff. I kind of want the resources that can be consumed to be consumed first, though. That might take longer than we'd think. Nah, surely we're gonna... Like, speeds have stopped because there's one missing item somewhere. Surely we're gonna run into a similar roadblock quite soon. Although, even with this many bots, they're not keeping up with the glass. How much glass is there? Oh. The soup... The, the, the very fast inserter can't keep up. Huh. Glass... There we go. So now it's electronic components. But I'm guessing... No, the inserter's not grabbing glass. It's just the other two. So I guess we're going through about 40 to 50 glass per second. Four or five seconds to get rid of a stack. Oh, you brought more. Th th thank you. Just thank you for that. No one's fault but mine. Just looked at the logistics triple F. I missed that one. And wow, you're going to love the changes. Uh, Which one is it? Can you link it? Oh, I guess I should permit. Or just tell me the number. I'll just give that one a quick glance. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I guess we could do this as well. Why do we have speed nines in these things? But it's only for prod modules. When did this happen? Well, whatever the case, we're going to be taking those back. Uh, maybe we should just pick up what we've got already. Yeah, let's start doing that. No, not from there. 
We're still draining this stuff out. So the only reason the bots stopped coming from over here is because... Because they didn't have room to drop stuff off, I guess. That's annoying. Right, why don't you go for a little walk? Wait here for... A while. And you're already empty. Now we do this. That's better. May as well throw what we can in here though. Was that the last one I was carrying? I guess... I guess because I just incidentally picked one up. Okay. Grab the Vulcanite blocks. The stack size 200, they're disappearing pretty quickly. I could always give them a hand. Red circuits. Blue circuits. Green circuits. Glass. Uh, electronic components. Granite rods. And so on. Looks like no more interference. Alright. Finally got all that storage moved. Should we wait for these machines to stop? They've, they've stopped. Alright, so now we pick up all these machines. No, don't steal from... I guess this is too many orders all at once. Because that's not because the trains were in range. Still quite a bit of stuff in here. So the chests are the real problem. No, don't... Why are you like this? Oh, I forgot to check for that link. Triple F three eighty two. All right, let's see. Space. Uh, space platform clarifications. Killing the rocket. Oh, a bot's going to be able to deliver straight in there. No, that's just the inventory. Where are the bot things? Set orbital requ 
Logistic groups. Un uncovered a critical problem. Quest the same set of items or see need to update it as a chore leads to chaos. Assign logistic requests to a named group. Oh, cool. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, it's kind of almost like... Well, no, it's a lot... It's a lot better and easy to use and mess around with than like the personal logistics stuff auto trash and all that still emptying this out oh Because requests have higher priority, I guess. Alright. Why do we have so much iron plate in the mall right now? There wasn't iron plate here. Should do some more shift C where the chests are concerned. What? I'm literally only asking for two machines to be picked up. Why, why are the bots invading from other robot networks for this? Maybe I should just pick this stuff up at this point. Let's keep going till we're full. And then shift C. Actually, let me just mark all of these as forbidden. And that way shift C won't put stuff back into those chests. Are we out of room? No. But we might not have room in the chests that already have those items. Alright, is that finally it? The end of the chests? And Fantastic. And even these bots are starting to fly home now. Why are they just now starting to fly back up here? It's not like they have room to... I don't get it. But they're very distracting. It makes it hard to see what's actually here. Uh, we've got room to empty this train at least now. It looks like. At last. Alright. Pick all of this up. I guess I can use my robots again. Not gonna need these requesters. Could you stop helping? Oh, and we need to clear these out as well. And 
last but not least. God damn it. Let me guess. You're going to want to help from outside. Yeah, you are. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is actually full as well. And that was my last two by two. Is... Is the run speed so high that I don't get... Wow, it is. Holding F to pick stuff up is working in a little circular radius around the player. And with the exoskeleton legs on, the run speed is so high that we don't pick up everything on the sides. That's kind of funny. I guess we'll just do it like this. Since someone can't help but try to help. As we're trying to rearrange the contents of our robot network over here. Okay, can we... Do it like this. Oh, that's just rude. None of my bots are jumping out. To help with any of this. That's better. Okay, we finally got there. Now, is this intruding on the blueprint that we want or not? Not that I think that that's in a different position, but just double checking. Alright, here comes our new build. Uh, it is in the way of the rail, but that's easily remedied. Let's place our blueprint. And if we put down a robot port, I guess we can put one here. Let's put another temp mini robot port. Put some construction bots in here. And they'll grab the buildings that we already had. We're going to need a bunch of... Uh, strongbox passive providers. Just go grab those now. Passive... Provider, strong box. I saw someone picking up laced belt and skipping every other one because they were moving so fast. Damn. But also, resigning box that just delivered and are empty to replace a bot that's further away. Oh, nice. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. The bot AI. Well, AI is kind of an exaggeration, but... Alright. And then we need a bunch of regular steel chests. No, we should actually use... Um... Actually, no. Those should be providers. Just because we want the robot network to know what we've got. 
Uh, need a couple of bulk rail loaders. What else is missing? A couple of fuel refineries. How are those missing? Oh, because they got stolen from outside. A bunch of long arm inserters. Okay. Let's re equip our construction train. Uh, and we need two fuel refineries. There should be room left in the... in the wagon up the front. Just make, make it clear that this is temporary. Even more iron. Why do we have a continuous throughput of iron? 8.5k iron plate is not that much. 10k um, is literally just 100 stacks. I don't, I don't get why this generic offer everything that we've got 150 stacks of. Keeps getting used over here. Temp TM? Nah, that's actually temporary. Alright, we've got the fuel refinery. Just go park over here. Assuming that it hasn't built it already, which it has. Duck. Never mind. Cool, so that's everything built. And now we just need to... Oh god. I'm going to be emptying the construction train immediately, aren't I? Um, can we perhaps... Why are all the construction bots in the middle of the train? What... How and why have you done this? Is this a blacklist? It is. How do we... Where is the blacklist coming from? Oh, the blacklist is static. Alright. Just, just get rid of those. For the moment. Um, and I guess... Where's the part where we say refill all the construction bots? If train exists, construction bot times 144. And that's white listing so that's when we put them in construction group plot greater than 144 red signal oh okay but then what triggers putting them back in c if it uh, if the train is empty, if everything, if every single that, if every signal that we're getting from the train is just this, output C, C for put the construction bots in. Okay. So we'll just disconnect this for the moment. And then... I thought that would latch. Alright, empty. So we just need to reconnect this wire when we're ready. Alternatively... 
please wait here for a while. And then we don't have to remember the wire. Good. Now then, hopefully we should be able to mark this for decon without interference from outside. Uh, didn't actually want those in my inventory, but okay. Looks like we've got room for that. I guess we'll do the same with the reds. Good. And efficiencies. Those are the only ones that... Well, not quite the only ones. Oh, this is already full. Great. Now we don't have room to squeeze the solid fuel in somewhere. Bruh. Okay. Freaking fine. I see how it is. Any more solid fuel lying around in here? I don't think so. Why are the bots hovering? Because they don't... They do have homes. Why are these bots hovering? Because we don't have a generic storage chest. We do. So why are they hovering? The game should probably tell you why the bots are hovering. That, that would be useful. Alright, uh, anyway, where do these go? If I shift C, it doesn't put these in the filtered slots. Uh... Epoxy goes here. Oh, I can just toss him in here. That'll work. And we need exactly 50 Logibots. Show robot targets. Uh, F5. Do we have that on? Uh, that's logistic robot targets. These are construction bots. Show player robots. Yeah, no, they're not... They're not player robots. Good morning, evening, Scobix. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Jamot, King, welcome in also. Okay. Um, let's pick this stuff up. It's too much, man. Pick up the bots. I guess I can just toss these in the trash slots. That works too. Alright, that's all the last of the hovering bots, right? Fantastic. Let's give the bots a hand. The whole point of this build is that they don't have to fly far after all. Much better. Uh, why? Okay, we need to set all of these chests to forbidden. So the bots will only take from them. I 
actually just turning them into active providers would work too, but I don't have two by twos. Alright, this is going to take a little bit of time. Or I could mark them for decon and hope that we don't get outside interference. That does seem to work for the moment. Okay, so why are we not getting invader bots from outer space this time? I wonder. Hmm. Let's go on this side. Should be ready to turn the train stops on quite soon. We can shift C, that'll help. Granite rods go over here somewhere. Hoover it all up. Vulcanite? That's not Vulcanite. Oh no, what have I done? It's fine. That was already saturated. Oops. Not again. Pretty sure that was already saturated, so there should be nothing weird on the belt. This is taking longer than I would like. It's actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. There it is. Alright, can we get rid of these lower tier modules? Mission C4. Uh, 
Efficiency five. Wait, what? Efficiency three. Speed three. Speed four. Uh, two. One. Seven? Seven's... yeah. Rod four. Rod three. Rod activity. There we go. There we go. Now why are you guys still hovering? That's why. And one last little piece of junk. Okay. Is this the build? Wait, we're missing... Oh, yeah, yeah, this does go up here. There we go. There we go. Uh, this is a green chest. We might need just one more little roboport down this way. I definitely don't mind having the bots transport the final product down to the train. That's going to be pretty slow. Alright, uh, there's actually nothing in here? Wow. Alright, let's switch on our requests. And make sure all of this works. That really is a big improvement, aesthetically as well as functionally. Uh, I can see that all of these, except for one, two actually, most of these chests have inputs. Uh, and we did limit the train stops to only two at a time each. So we won't be getting an avalanche of trains uh, causing a blockage here. Oh, we're bottlenecked by the belt. That's why they're not rushing to get these Vitalik Epoxies. That's actually... potentially kind of good. Because they won't just focus on filling out one resource non-stop while there's another one waiting. All right, we've got motion. Actually, give this back. I'll put the temp chest over here. Get rid of this inserter for now. was weird. I could have sworn I saw... Nope, never mind. Alright, so who's empty? Uh, Iridium plate. Wait, why are we this full on epoxy? Oh, we're not that full on epoxy. Cool, cool, cool. So obviously the bots are going to still struggle a little bit to catch up. When we're initially fixing everything. Uh, I do kind of want a faster charger closer to the robots here. Although they'll still recharge at the roboport. 
if they think they can go home. Which is a little bit unfortunate. They don't know that this charges them faster. We've already got copper plate, not much left though. Yeah, it's just because I limited it to two trains at a time. Which looks like it was the right idea though. While we're still playing catch up. Catalogs have arrived. Don't forget to paste the block again. Uh, what do I need to paste? Why are you guys holding Bita research data? What? I don't put all things random in here. Uh, I guess we had some... Wait, what? We just had processing units delivered. How did we oversupply the processing units this badly? We're reading from the robot network so we know how many we've got. In the red chests, in the storage chests. It's only what's on the belt that's unaccounted for. We've got green wire connected to this container. The contents of the purple chest should also be accounted for. Let me just double check something. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, it's fine. It makes sense. I forgot that processing units are the only circuit that has a stack size of 100. That's a little bit unfortunate, but at least the world makes sense again. Okay, one speed eight coming right up. Uh, I also forgot to do the outputs. For our final products over here. I guess I don't have a yellow inserter. Um, kind of weird that I had two to begin with. I guess these are our slow inserters now. Okay. No more trains coming, but we don't have Olmium Plate. Should I be concerned? Probably. Holmium is not flowing over here. Because there's no Holmanite, because there's no core frags. Uh, it looks to be flowing at two thirds of our producers. So we're not short on beads or anything like that. Hmm. I think we're, if we check, we're going to find that we need more spaceships. 
There's only 56k Chromium Core Frags at Verb T. Orpheus has 140, so we could definitely be collecting more from here. And apparently there's no ships on the way here either. Uh, and the only other one is Plato, which has no ships on the way, and 75k. And we still haven't removed this old uh, temp storage. I have a mini construction ship that we can send to do that. Should have some storage chests in here. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure Plato Orbit is... Oh, it's only five minutes away. Oh, it's in the Kalmea system. Nice. Don't need to bounce off of Foenestra for that. All right, ETA, that's going to be about five minutes. Okay. Uh, are the bots not keeping up here? Why? Why are they hovering? Oh, 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 I missed these two. L LTN didn't know about... Uh... 18, 19,000... Vitamolange extract. That's not great. Same problem with the processing units, with the hover bots. Good grief, this is taking a lot more babysitting to make sure it gets started than I th would have thought. Although, a couple of those have just been because of mistakes I made. With the 30 uh, UPS, the yellows look really slow. Yeah, they do. Oh, we already have 50 efficiencies over here. Um, might want to limit these passives to one stack. Or I could just limit it with the inserter. Might do that. There we go. Why are the bots still... I just emptied this out. Like, why did we end up with bots hovering that can't get rid of the processing units? I know we've got too much to store here, but they shouldn't, like, commence a trip that they can't finish. How many bots are in motion? All of them. So we can't afford to have them hover like that. It looks like they just have a tendency to over deliver. That's pretty annoying. Well, I guess the job is pick up what's in the purple chest no matter what. 
Hmm. I guess I could take some of this extract out of here. Interesting. Okay. You're full again? Bruh. I guess I shouldn't be surprised with how much excess we accidentally requested. Yeah, we're actually belt bottlenecked to let the bots drop off the cables here. Uh, maybe these should be like I would have to change the passive providers to green chests. But then the bots would try to... T um... Something other than purple chests here means we'd have to change these from storage chests. Means they'd have to have a request instead of a filter means blue chests um and these would have to be green chests since we don't want them to take from the green chests and we could just not tick the box that would prevent them from hovering over a chest when the belts can't empty the chest fast enough Do we really need to do that, though? Like, once everything actually gets going, I imagine the bots will have no trouble keeping up. That was the whole point of this exercise. Yeah, looks like we've done it now. Except there's still... Iridium plate, Holmium plate, uh, red circuits are fine. Hey, this is empty. Nice. How did you, how did you end up with an efficiency six? Five efficiency sixes. What? You didn't take them from me. What? Uh, whatever. Just gonna pretend I didn't see that. And move on. So, Iridium is suffering? No? We've got loads of Iridium. Mini beacon? Uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> why why are they able to do that? I'm pretty sure it was 50-50. That's already minus 80. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was 50-50. That's so weird. You have two types of purple catalog in one red chest. True. I think it's because I put these here manually. Also... So this should be energy catalog one, right? gonna need to
make sure that belt doesn't have the wrong type of catalogs. Okay. Hey, we did get the Iridium. Now we're just waiting on Holmium. Holmium, there's never enough, though. Uh, why don't we crank the priority on this? Just for a little bit. Morning, Ian Nua. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dendria, welcome in. Okay, so... Oh my god, the Iridium's... No, it's not gone already. We've still got a couple of chests worth. Okay. When do we get some more plate? Good question. Oh my god, they're all in sync. Um... Looks like ingots are never saturating either, which is a bit worrying. So upstairs, presumably, we're out of ink. We, we are researching, I kind of forgot. We've got plenty of ingots upstairs, which is quite a surprise. Do ingots... get consumed down here directly, other than to turn into plate. D does that happen at all? No, it's only to make plate. Hmm. Hey, we do have Holmium plate. Maybe it was here all along. Okay. Yeah, I have to remember that if this is empty, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're out of a resource. Cool. That all seems to be job well done. Okay. I'm going to give it a save right there. And I'm going to need a break before my brain completely melts in this heat. I think we already set up the words on stream. Why are you shipping ingots if the only thing that's used is plate? It's just way more stack dense. We don't need as many trains to move the ingots. Uh, and apart from traffic... I mean, not that we care about it, about the material resources at this stage of the game. Uh, it does cost more space elevator cables to send more trains up the elevator. Um, but yeah, uh, one ingot becomes 10 plate. The ingots stack to 50 and the plate only stacks to 100. Uh... So 10 ingots is a stack of plate. It's five times the stack density. That's true of most, if not all, of the ingots. I think iridium might be different. That's 1 to 10, but these only stack to 40. Uh, but the ingots only go to 20. So this is 200 as opposed to 40. That is five times better. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like... Oh, uh, no. I was about to say it looks like all of our... No, no, they are. Our inputs are saturated with, uh... 
Iridium. I wonder if we need to make more smelting. I haven't looked at the whole bottleneck for Iridium in a long time. Okay, uh, anyway, I need a break before I melt. Let's do some words on stream. And smell that cheering. You want cooler weather? It's freezing in the UK. Indeed. RV Park, welcome in. So you ship ingots and plate them on site? Uh, it's not quite. Um, I mean, I could. You know, with, with how fast we eat the plate, um, it's actually only a stack per second. Only. Um, but I was considering shipping ingots directly to the build to make uh, Holmium cables and adding a machine here. But I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, instead, we ship the ingots upstairs and we've got like a central-ish uh, spot for turning them into plate. And then that's just available to LTN. Okay. We'll start the words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Uh, mute backward. How the hell did that happen? What? Now it's the right way around. I didn't even change it. What? I'm so confused. Uh, in any case, we're back. Bonk. Welcome in, the Eagle Wolf. Yeah, you know, you know it's hot when you go to drink room temperature water uh, and it doesn't cool you down. It actually feels warm to the touch. Luckily, I got some ice. Uh, let's look at the triple F. Why not? Wait. Yeah, the triple F was yesterday, so we don't have to wait for it. Uh, let's see. Factorium.com And... Triple F... 387, Swimming in Lava. Ooh. I like the animation of the foundry. That's cool. Planet design. High level general plan of what the expansion should be. Words, words, words. It is more than just a Vulcanus furnace. It's apparently going to require a lot of energy to run, but what do we get for the investment? Handle molten metals or even lava itself. Unique recipes on this planet are about tungsten processing, which eventually leads to the uh, metallurgic science pack. Why are we bonking? We don't see triple F on the screen. My bad. Uh, where's the bouton? There we go. Lava into gears? That, is that the only input? Just straight lava. Turn it into iron plate and gears. And copper... Okay, so this is just a an omni resource. Interesting. Big mining drill. There's gonna be a big mining drill in vanilla. Does it work everywhere or just on this one planet? I imagine it works everywhere. Aggressive ground penetration. This, this, this is one of those massage the ground designs. Molten iron, molten copper, made from lava. Indeed. What's all this then? It kind of bugs me that the items are still coming out while the drill doesn't appear to be working. Looks good though. Something about it reminds me of Total Annihilation. It's more than a Vulcanus mining drill. Yes it is. 13 by 13 tiles of mining. Uh, I am, I imagine based on this animation here that you can set a filter for them. Harvests faster, four module slots. Additionally, it has a special unique property, the reduction in resource drain by 50%. Oh, the resource underneath only gets its richness depleted half the time. So it's basically a massive productivity bonus. 
Nice. I don't see any mention of a filter. But if these things have such a big mining area, presumably you can set a filter on them. Or you could like define the shape of where they're mining from. Which would be very handy. Uh, big quality of... Big... Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, big quality of life health. Life help where that's relevant. Apart from these two structures and tungsten processing, Vulcanus has some different uh, differences compared to Nalvis. Sulfuric acid can be mined directly. Sulfuric acid. There's no water. There's no oil, but coal is plentiful. And you can do liquefaction. No uranium at all. Lava is used as a resource. So is lava just infinite, like water? That has no natural... Stone, iron, copper. Calcite is a new resource. Okay. Lava. 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 I'm guessing lava is infinite like water. Probably infinite like water, yeah. Maybe the filter only works on the uranium because that needs acid. Uh, well, they said the drill area was 13 by 13, right? So this should be mining iron. Like, this drill all the way up here. Uh, if it wasn't filtered. Special lava landfill? Yeah, 13 by 13 is pretty big. I like. Alright, cool. Let's get back to it. Uh, looks like we've... It looks like in all this time we haven't had, like, a jam with the bots or anything. Or at least nothing... Oh. I was gonna say at least nothing too serious. I mean, as long as they can keep up with all the machines, I guess it's fine. Like, this this is where it actually matters, right? Yep, that seems okay. Alright, what should we fix next? And how many modules have we made lately? Last hour... Uh, 0.1 per minute. 0.5 per minute prods. Well, that's right, we stopped the efficiencies because we already reached our target. And speeds have been kind of similar to prods, but faster. Cool. Oh, and we already took something upstairs. What's the condition again? Anything greater than 50. Greater than? Oh, right. Because we're not checking what's in the train with this inserter. Cool, cool, cool. We just whitelist anything that's... Wait, what? I'm actually confused as to how... If anything's less than 50, output train... Train one. If anything less than... Oh, there's... Huh? Oh, we're pretending we have this many already? I, I'm so confused. As to how and why I wired this up before. Oh, this is anything greater than 50 in the train. And this doesn't care what's in the train. Okay, sure. 
That works. It'll probably bug you once you see it, but Prod 2-5 to five have their modules backwards. Prod 2-5 to five have their modules backwards. What do you mean? Prod 2-5 to five have their modules backwards. What? What? Blue oh, 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 in the, I see what you mean. Yeah. I, I, I could have gone on not knowing that. Now I have to fix it. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Stop. There we go. Much better. I've been manually fixing my modules in my base as well, yeah. It's worse with the beacons. They can just be all over the place. Uh, so presumably science has stopped. We're missing... As is often the case... Oh, Deep Space 3, that's not surprising right now. Deep Space Science Pack 3 is missing SIG data. Okay, that's not the bottleneck I was expecting. What is going on here? Oh no. Oh no. How did this happen? Um, more to the point, how did we not find out this happened for this long? How are you not connected? Oh, it's just full. It is connected. It's kind of hard to see here. Um, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna have to throw together a temporary storage. Actually, why don't I just put the thermo fluid somewhere else? Surely there's a consumer. Um, what is it called? F5. SE Space Coolant Supercooled. Uh, super Coolant. Here we go. Uh, we're looking for consumers. I guess I didn't need the... FNEI. Alright. That'll do. So, time-space anomaly data. Just under the onesie. Time, space, anomaly, data. Wait till empty, and then go back to the mall. No, that's the wrong. No, that's not the wrong one. Oh my god! Don't scare me like that. Spiralite, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There we go. And everything else should just get dropped off. And then we can start making SIG data once more. Uh, 
Uh, where's the greens? Up here. Should be plenty of room. Just take the longest possible path to get out of the way. Sure. And boom. Fantastic. Quite fast, these machines are. But it's been stuck for a while, presumably. Yeah, everywhere we look, oh, most places we looked at want seek data. Don't have any seek data. It's going to take a little while to fix that. What's the rate? 10 per second. 5 seconds for a stack. Uh, 500 seconds or 8... 8 minutes 20 for a train load. Yeah, that's at least going to take like an hour or two to fix itself. How are we doing for antimatter and such? Anti is full, or uh, mostly full. So presumably a uh, particle stream is fine as well. Particle stream is super saturated, which means we surely don't have to worry about plasma stream right now. Wunderbar. Might need to go a lot faster. Didn't we make another one of these? Yeah, we did. Quantum phenomenon data. Do 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 do. Oh, that's a lot. So we just took a train load recently. That's why it's not super super full. So that is having no trouble whatsoever. Fantastic. What's that big X? Uh, this means we want to decon this block. But we're waiting for it to drain out. So that it'll sort itself out to some extent. So we don't have to move 6 million items around again. Because I want to replace the higher tier, smaller version of the build... Uh, at the same location. It's going to be shaped exactly like this. Just one machine uh, for each type of insight. As opposed to what? 16? 16? And a lot of belts and inserters. It's only two million? Wait, what's only two million? Speaking of beacons, look on the left. Look on the left? Of, of what? What are we looking at? Alright, uh, what bottleneck should we push? It's kind of hard to know right now. Hmm. We shouldn't really... If we're really trying to stress test the research, we shouldn't necessarily be trying to make modules right now. Um... But we want modules. We want some. I kind of want to prod the Holmanite, but it's going to take a lot. 12 times 4. 48 per block. 96. Uh, 144. To prod all of the core frags. 
uh, and then quite a bit more to prod the second, third, fourth, fifth steps. But Holmium, Holmium has replaced uh, Vitamelange as our most difficult resource to keep up with. Or has it? How much Vit do we really have? We're not keep... Uh, we stopped being ahead of Extract again, it looks like. Oh, no. No, we do have... We do have a surplus of Extract in, in at least one block. Okay. We're actually still doing pretty well. Yeah, we're actually still doing very well for Extract. That's good. So really, it's just Holmium that we're struggling with at the moment. Um, did we get all of this? There's a signal. Uh, how about you grab this for a minute? And go pick up those dregs over there. And then return. Let's look at our Holmium outposts again. Oh, that's right. We had a ship headed for... I think it was Orpheus Orbit. No, it was uh, Plato. Anchor to Plato. Plato's a bit busy right now. I'll wait for the ship to leave. It won't be long. I'm pretty sure one or two of our Holmium outposts we could easily... expand. Why are the bots requesting so many more chests? Requesting more chests? I'm not following. Uh, D Hose, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. So, no, don't put that in there. Oh, that's fine, actually. Alright. Grab those, grab those, grab those, grab those. And... We're out of here. And hopefully that didn't mess up. We've got spare Logibots. That should be fine. Cool. Mini construction ship back to Hagen orbit, please. The blinking symbol at the bottom. Oh, this? It's Hagen orbit. Uh, the bots got themselves confused. Let's empty the construction train. And I guess that was basically it. There's also a few hovering in these old builds. Which I've yet to update. This is still using Ion Stream. Not that it needs to go faster than using Ion Stream, but I would like to kind of standardize these at some point. Then again, I, I kind of want to finish the playthrough. We could keep refactoring until the end of time. Uh, but yeah, basically they're just holding on to some asteroid belt probe data. That they're trying to dump in here, but this is already full. What are we yaying? Refactoring until the end of time? There goes some more cable. Um, let's look at our Holmium outposts. Verb T is the closest one. We've already got... 
How many drills? 19. Refactoring till the end of time. <laughs> yeah, we're already covering quite a large space and we have 19 drills. Um, I don't... As much as this is like closer to Hagen than anywhere else, um, I don't particularly... Should probably limit this to one ship. Um, I don't particularly want to expand this. How big is the planet? 3.6k radius. 3.7. Um, so like, over here. A little bit further. That's the edge of the planet. So, presumably... We'd get, like, six more drills if we keep this huge area explored. I don't really want to do that. We're not going to get that much more out of it with the diminishing returns. Trim surface. So where else can we go? Orpheus. Uh, we can definitely add more drills on Orpheus, and I wouldn't even have to explore more area at first. How many do we have? Like six? Ten. That's not that good. Alright, I guess we should go expand Orpheus. Uh, and the other one was Plato. Plato... We've already covered a pretty big area on Plato. Even if it's only 16 drills. I do see at least one drill that's already explored that we haven't tapped yet that makes two so the save file wouldn't really get any bigger oh still haven't gotten rid of these tags uh tag check signal oh they're everywhere So we fixed this. Well, it's not that it causes any problems, but nevertheless, I thought we already did that. And... Dunsky. Alright, so we're going to need a bunch of landfill. I might extend the rail out from here, just to get to this one. Or we could do it this way. It's probably better. It's actually pretty easy. Front left. Snug fit, very nice. And... Not just like so. Landfill. And... Where should we connect? Probably here. I won't say that lines up beautifully, but it might just be close enough for that to connect directly.
Bulk rail. This will do. Oh. God damn it. Uh, bulk rail. Like so. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. I guess I can leave that there. Actually, no, I don't want landfill to end up being part of our, some of our blueprints. That's the grey. There we go. Alright, we should probably head over there. Let me in. And just get some of this out of my. Why do I still carry Bita research data? I don't want that ending up stuck in the upstairs mall forevermore. Alright, in any case, let's get in the construction ship. I'm pretty sure Plato is nice and close. We checked that earlier today. Five minutes. Fantastic. Alright, back to designing our little expansion. Uh, so we already confirmed that this right here fits quite well. Easy peasy. Uh, and we're going to want some rail. Over here. And over here. And signaling... Oops. It's going to look like that. Or maybe like that. Where else? There's another station. That we At least one more station that we can get without even expanding. Does it only show the tags? Uh, yeah, it... It, it's not going to find the four seams that are outside of our explored area, right? Alright. So this one, which we already designed. This one, which we already found. And I think all of these others are still... have already been drilled. How much are we getting for these two drills we're adding, I wonder? They're still doing 6.5 individually. Okay, that's... Maybe we should even scan a bit more on Plato. Might not have to add another outpost if we're lucky. Sort by core frags. Holmium. Um, we already got Verb T. We already got Plato. Orpheus is actually slightly further away than Plato. Huh. And there's also a place called Se Semiel. Semiel. It's about the same distance, but it's very, very, very small. I don't want to pay the maintenance or UPS or anything uh, for this tiny planet or moon. I mean, we do get diminishing returns. The first drill is going to give a lot more than the couple that we're adding over here.
I, I wish I could... I wish I could see exactly how fast the drills are going to be. Expected resources, 3.8 per second. Hmm. I guess we can. Although I don't think it takes the diminishing returns into account if they're just ghosts. Yeah, so the next drill we're placing expects 2.5 per second. On Plato. And if we add another ghost over here, it still just says 2.5 per second. But we can use that to calculate. Um, so how much was it? Samuel. Why don't we explore this whole area? It's only going to take a minute. See how many seams are on this planet. 3.8 per second for the first one. So, f uh, 1 to the power of 2 gives us 3.8 per second. Uh, 2 to the power of 2, i.e. 4, would give us 7.6. Um, 1, 2, or... No, three. I don't know my base two numbers off by heart. Um, one, four, eight, sixteen. We'd get 15.2 per second out of 16. I don't know if we're going to get 16 drills out of this entire planet. We're not. We're going to get 10 if we're lucky. So about 3 times 3.8 per second. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Yeah, I know. I just don't know off the top of my head that to the power of 3 is 8, for example. Um, yeah, it looks like we get 9 for the whole planet. So... 11.4... 11 11.4 per second for the entire planet. It's very small, but we still have to, like, do media defenses... Uh, we still have to make an outpost and configure it. Not that that's particularly difficult at this point. I don't know. I don't know about that one. What other options do we have? This one's outside of... the... better to go directly than via Foenestra range. I'm not sure exactly where that line is. It's it's somewhere around 23 to 25,000, uh, I think. Or maybe even like 22,000. Um, but this is definitely outside of it. There is Amad Amadeo. A basically max radius planet. But the solar says 100%, which means it's pretty deep into the solar system. Uh, which means when we arrive here from the Anomaly, we still have quite a ways to go. Oh wow, it, yeah, it's way in there. That actually adds a lot of distance. That's no good, because spaceship travel time is kind of, in a way, our primary currency. Um that we exchange to get these resources back. So we're looking for very low solar percentage, but not tiny radius. Also, Semiel, for example... Oh, it doesn't matter with Semiel how deep into the solar system it is, because to get to the actual planet, 
uh, is quicker than if we went via Foenestra. Um, there's actually quite a lot of Holmium planets, damn. Which one did we just look at? Amadeo. All the ones with good radius are deep into the solar system. 7% is best for close to the edge of the solar system. Uh, it's only 1.2k radius though. There's a couple like that. Five K radius, but it's like halfway in. Six K radius, that's pretty deep in. Seven point three. Yeah, I can see why we haven't made another Holmium outpost yet. It might actually be worth. To, to go to semi semiel okay let's uh anchor to plato orbit actually we've got so far to go when we go down to plato i think we'll land on the planet directly save us a lot of flying around Okay, so we're going to land over here. We're going to take some rail. We've already got some rail. We need a bunch of landfill. Where's our fill? We might need more than that. Do we still have... Maybe I was thinking of another planet. I thought we had a makeshift... Oh, here it is. Yeah, we have a little landfill factory over here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, let's take what we've got anyway. And we're going to need some bulk rail loaders, train stops. We've already got some. Uh, signals. We've already got a few. Pylons, big drills. And blue belt. Use a little more blue belt. Okay. I guess we'll find out if anything's missing. That's already built. Fantastic. And here begins the ghosts. I was going to say I forgot to bring cliff explosives. That's technically true, but we do have them. Why don't I place the rails as we go? Two by two landfill right about there. Oh, that should reach. It does. And then... Actually, for the look of it, I feel like it would have been better if I put it like here or here, but whatever. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Alright. 
Alright, that should connect back to central once we build it. Uh, muted? Whoops. Uh, what's the green signal from again? I feel like that's a relic of a forgotten time. No, it's over here. We're setting requests. Because there's a ship here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so... The best way to get to this drill... I could just expand down this way. See where it lines up. That should be just far enough away to get a nice cozy turn in here. Oh, what a cozy fit. Beautiful. Wunderbar. And... Like this. That should be fine. And then we need some landfill to follow this. Mm, diagonal might work better here. Nope, not really. Alright, so it's going to go like here or somewhere. We'll figure it out. More to the point, uh, how much landfill is this? One K? One point six or so. We do not have one point six or so. Gotta go pick some up. We'll move the ship just to make things easy. I just re remembered how big this planet is, uh, so that is costing quite a lot of Delta V. But... Wait, what? What? Oh, I see what happened here. I see how it is. Go, go, gadget, storage chest. There we go. Um, seventeen hundred and sixty gigajoules to take off, but we have like ninety-eight thousand. Is that all? No, nine hundred eighty-five thousand. No, I misread. Nine eight five. Wow, it really is a decent chunk. Uh, okay, fine. I'll fly around like I should have done the first time. Where's my drill? There it is. Hopefully we've got everything we need. So we don't have to fly back here. Down, down, down we go. Should probably clean up this, uh... Wow, that's actually empty. That's gonna be a lot more than enough.
kind of flew past it. Do not jump down onto the surface and then run at where the bots are placing the landfill. You will randomly die. We found it very difficult to replicate the death part, but uh, it does happen. Almost there. Expected resources... 2.3 per second. Wait. Why is it expected resources 2.3 per second, but this drill gives... 6.13 per second? Is it taking into account the other drills being slowed down? That might be it. If so, good job. Uh, that's not adding any extra landfill, is it? Doesn't look like it. Fantastic. Uh, and I guess we'll just put this here. No, it killed the fishy. Even though I wasn't pointing at the fishy. Rip fishy. We hardly knew ye. And rail. Uh, are we still online? Just had one of those fraction of a second blackouts. We're still online. Okay. Fantastic. Amazing. I'm quite surprised we don't get knocked offline by that because the router is not on a UPS. How much rail did I bring? Possibly enough. Just a little bit further. Just a little bit more. And connected, I imagine. All right, so. Connect to central, goes all the way to here. And we have core frags. And that should be it. Cool, cool, cool. So now, uh, I forgot to check how many core frags per second we were making. But we're up to... 
uh, 18 times this, 110 per second. That's right, we were going to explore a little bit further. It's going to take some time, though, to scan this planet. Um... I guess we'll come back, or at least look back. Oh yeah, signals. We should put some signals here. Back to the ship. Should I pick up this old mine? I'm going to have to move all the frickin' landfill back and forth. I'll just leave it here. I'm sure some idle backed up mines aren't co uh, costing that much UPS. Especially since there's only like seven of them. Enough in its capacitors. Uh, what capacitors? Which capacitors are we talking about? The router. Oh, that makes sense. It never occurred to me that routers would have capacitors. As in, would it just incidentally have capacitors? Or would they be thrown in there intentionally for just such an occasion? Let's launch. The power supply will have some. Okay, cool. Um, I think we will go to... It wasn't Melione. It was in the other system, right? In Calmeo. Wait, what? Oh, this is Calmeo. I knew that. Asimius. It was Sem Semiel. Let's go to Semiel. I'm pretty sure we're going to need the, uh, the throughput. They're low enough power that a bit of spare charge in a capacitor will cover small glitches. Nice. Even if I did put a bigger UPS on it. Uh, it's not like I can run my computer for more than like five minutes or something off of a UPS if we have a plop, uh, proper blackout. I just have a chance to say, well, that's the stream for today. Thanks for watching. I guess that's something. What's our ETA? Five minutes? Haven't got back up to speed yet. We pretty much have. Alright, so where's the bottleneck right now? Uh, we're still missing... We're still probably playing catch-up on significant data. Yeah. All because of a missing wire. Complex systems be fragile. The question is also if the power goes out, whether the internet uh, will still work without power. It depends on the connection type, yeah. Naturally. Okay. Um, what should we work on right now? What's our throughput been like for core fragment hulmanite consumption? How about that? Last hour. Okay, it does spend a good amount of time maxed out, but quite a lot of dips. 
So we're probably not that far off keeping this thing flatlined up the top at the moment. What's our max rate for eating the core frags with our current setup? 248 per second, that's quite a bit. Um, and our outposts? Nineteen. Okay. Verb T is just under seventy. Orpheus. Only has ten. Uh fifty two per second. So like a hundred and twenty two. I need to remember that we absolutely need to go to Orpheus to add more drills. Actually, we should do that first. Before we make a new outpost. I don't care if we just spent time flying away from it. Which we did not. It's in the other system. Cool. Uh, so the first two were like 122 per second... And Plato was... How many? 18? 110, holy crap, it's almost half of our four francs right now. So about 130 per second. And with tier 6 modules, we're able to eat 248. Okay. So if we can do about another 78 per second, we could keep this completely saturated. Uh, at the point of... 4 frags. Into Holmanite, into... Crushed, blah blah blah. Uh, and presumably bottleneck on just not producing enough Holmium ingots still. Because the demand for this, especially while we're making modules, is obscene. But that's how it is. I I really do I really do love this build so much better. Glad we took the time to to redo it. It's so much easier to look at and see where the problems are, if there are any. You know what? I guess we could put some little belts here. Which would store like 12... No, not 12. 8... 24. Uh, you'd have like 24 modules of each type stored up between these, potentially. And you could see at a glance where the... where we're waiting on the next tier of module. I think that's a great idea, actually. Um, how about this? There's never a byproduct output from these. No. We don't need filters. Alright. I was going to say, who's taking this? Uh, alright. Refill the construction train. Most of that will get built before we even try. We're missing... Heavy assemblies. Which means there isn't enough... Uh, iridium plate. But there is iridium plate. What? Heavy assembly is full. What? 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I never asked for heavy assembly. Well, there's your problem. Damn it, now I have to... It's fine. It's fine. So there should be a train coming with heavy assembly soon. Have we been waiting on that the whole time? For a while, yes. Where's our train? Request stack threshold 100. Long trains only. Heavy assembly. Stack size 50. 7,500. Switched on. Provide stack 100. Oh, we just took them somewhere. It was presumably somewhere else. That's going to take a while before we get more of those. They did come here, it's just the light didn't go yellow. That's a bug that shows up eventually. Only after the the map reaches a certain size or has a certain amount of LTN stuff going on. It seems to happen at the same train, uh, at more or less the same train stops over and over. I want to say. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to take a while, I think, before we see any of these belts backed up. Actually, I'm surprised that, like, at least the lower tiers haven't done that already. Well, I still like this better. Alright, what's our ETA? Seven seconds? Seems good. And... Where should we expand to first? Down here. Expected resources, two per second. That's the wrong way around. No cozy fit this time. I could put it over here and yeah, that'll that'll do. At least we don't have to deal with undergrounds. I mean, uh, landfill this time. Presumably, a uh, rail that goes across the water with the raised rail is going to look a lot better slash use a lot less landfill. And we're going to want some signals. Oh, I guess we can start with that. Let's just anchor far enough down that we don't contaminate the robot network. And it's waterless, we don't need landfill. We are going to need a fair bit of rail. How is this rail damaged? I want to make sure that gets fixed. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of bulk rail loaders, train stops, blue belt. Still got loads of blue belt. I don't think we're going to have to resupply. And... Cliff Splodes. Cliff 
Angry Koala, indeed. Okay, why am I holding a speed three? Let's -a go. So first, first we're going down here. This planet is refreshingly smaller. But there's a lot more low-hanging fruit that we haven't, relatively low-hanging fruit that we haven't taken yet. Didn't even have to go out of my way to get the rail fixed. Why, why are we... What's going on here? We've got room in the inventory. What? What? I better know what just happened. A curved piece of rail uh, requires like, I don't know, two or three or four pieces of rail or something. Uh, the bot picked up the one piece of unrepaired rail and was trying to place it to build this, but it needs like a few pieces of rail all at once. 27 down to... Uh, down to what? 23. It takes four pieces. Silly bot. I think it probably is worth making that new outpost. Uh, don't tell me I didn't bring a drill. Okay. Why don't we design this part as well while we're here? Front right. Uh, can't get a cozy fit. I guess here is fine. Oops. Wow. Perfect. I'm gonna want some signals over here, which I forgot to top up on, but I don't think we're running out on uh, running out of those anytime soon. We've got eleven. We already put the signals up here. Um I don't suppose this is going to reach... Oh, it's one off, isn't it? No, it's... It's three off. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's chuck it over here. Connected to central. And connected to local. That should be fine. And then? Down we go. Way too far. Good, good, good. Um, maybe we should try a diagonal here. That's still going to be too far. Rude. I guess we'll just put this, like, here. Should have brought the spider so that I can one-click for some long trips. And 
click, click. That's already connected to central. Fantastic. We're going to extend this line out this way. And I might just connect off of that one as well. Oh yeah, we should probably be scanning here. How much of Plato did we scan in the meantime? Not that much. We might have... I th I'm pretty sure we found another drill, though. How much do we have on Plato already again? 18. Yeah, we can definitely go a bit deeper into diminishing returns. And it'll be worth the effort. That's like at least three drills, four drills that we've found. Alright, uh, in the meantime, can we please scan Orpheus instead? Where's the scanning? Is it not... Has it just not gotten started yet? There it goes. Negative, negative. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. How expensive is Worker Robot Speed 16? 77,000. So, like, one train load of each type of science pack that we need would be like three quarters of this. That's a short train. I presume we're still playing catch up with the SIG data. We are. And we're out of energy insight. Uh oh. Oh, no. Uh, well, I got what I wanted. Just not when I wanted it. No, I did get what I want because we're still... We've still got a lot of material insight here. Let's turn on the requests for... Uh, for energy catalogs. Just for one and two, just once. That's probably all we need. And we'll keep that going until these two are fairly empty, hopefully. Pretty bad timing, though. I guess we could just use the decon train to store a lot of the stuff that we need to shuffle around over there. All right, back to the ship. And we came back for drills. Were we good for everything else for now? I think so. Probably. Don't need these red belts. Or purple belts right now, for that matter. Why do we have three stacks of splitters? Bonk. Signals. Thank you, Shinsky. Alright. That's way more than we need. Back down we go. Do not run into the trains. Again. Which way? This way. Oh, let's... Before we place these, let's check our rate. 52 per second, almost exactly. 
going from tendrils to twelve. Gives us 56.9 per second, so we added almost 7 per second. Just double check again that that's connected properly. Looks good. And all the belts are working. Nice. Next, I would like to expand out this way. I guess we could do it like this. That way we don't have to wait and see where the curved rail goes to figure out where we're placing our signals. I don't think we have room to turn the corner here. Yeah, no. So we're going to drive past it. Back right. And not the coziest fit, unfortunately. This will have to do. over here. That one we can probably just drive straight to. Front right. That's okay, I guess. Could do a little underground here. And power poles. That's going to be a little inconvenient. Might get a nice 45 degree between those two. Uh, this should probably be a diagonal. I guess that'll do. Is that going to cover everything? It is. Alright. Fly back up this way. What were we getting from Orpheus before we started here? 50. Almost exactly 50 per second. We already added 7. That entire other little planet, if we made a whole new outpost for it, was only another 10 per second. out of power poles. Uh, I guess I should go back for them while we're standing closer to the space elevator. Okay, maybe not so close that I shouldn't have used the jetpack. In we 
go. Uh, power tools. They're not in here, are they? No. Where are the power poles? With the circuits and stuff. Lighted pylon sub. And lighted pylon. Make it two stacks of those. Okay. I was about to run out of decider combinators as well. All good. Don't die to a train. Okay, this is what confuses me though. We've got 113,000 coal frags on this planet right now. I think we need more spaceships. Unfortunately. It's saturated at the other end for the moment, but we know we can't keep that up. I also haven't done the math lately. 4.67 per second times 6. Uh, if these are running continuously, which they're not, we get like 28 ingots per second. We know we can keep up like two-thirds of that or more. So it's probably more like 20 per second. Um, ingots? Which translates into 200 plate per second. Which this build alone can eat half of. We might not be that far off keeping up with our goals here. Where's the other build that's hungry for cable? 175 per second. Okay, never mind. 175 Holmium Cable. Damn. This can do lots though, right? 180. We know we're materially bottlenecked and this runs out of Holmium Plates, so there's no need to double it. Alright, back to it. Uh, but yeah, there's already a lot of... There's already a lot of core frags here. That we're not picking up. I do think we need more spaceships. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a perfect triangle with this. It's going to be about here. Is that 45? Yes, it is. Oops. Okay. So right about here. Good. Double check the belts are all connected. And four. Fantastic. 
Looks like it's ready to go. Might just be time to spam ships, yeah. It's gonna cost us more UPS though. I don't really want to go overboard on it until I know that we really need to do it. Wakey wakey bots. Wakey wakey bots. Is it my imagination or were they a lot more consistent when we were on Plato? I wonder if they get less responsive when there's like lots of bot networks filling spaceships up or something like that. Alright, so what are we up to now? 14... That is 61.52. I might expand the rail from here. Could even do it this way. Just for the look of it. Round about there. Actually, a couple of towns further up. That's fine. And purple. Uh, is that a forty-five degree angle? No, it wouldn't be, unless unless it is by sheer fluke. No, wait. I remember measuring it out. It it is forty-five. Yep. Hopefully that is a pretty cozy fit. Nice. Alright, don't forget to connect. And connect. Fantastic. Just a little bit further. This one turned out to be pretty low effort to add since we already had this, uh, this stop. Alright, connected to central, yes, and Dunsky. Cool. That gives us 25 drills. For a total of a hundred? Wait, what? No, it was 15, wasn't it? I was gonna say. 63.688 per second. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Okay, let's stop scanning. Uh, I do want to scan Plato again. Uh, where's the bouton? There we go. I already made 6.4 thousand prod nines. Damn. Do you even need that many for the 
For the whole game? Or is this the new... The new flex measurement? P9s per, per minute. I should probably use the jetpack. Haven't needed any for the last 100 hours. Now I'm expanding. Oh my goodness. Just how grandiose is your goal? Just tap every single resource in the entire game. Okay. Let's get back to Gen Orb for now. Since apparently we're not getting that much out of uh, out of adding core drills at the moment. Two point two k SPM, but I'll settle on two. I see. I thought the ship was almost at... Oh, it's going to Oswulf, not Orpheus. Sneaky. Orpheus... 133,000. Two ships are on the way. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't completely broken somehow. Hermes, Oswulf, Hagen. Where are, you, where are you headed? Orpheus. Okay. 56 seconds. What's the limit? Orpheus Orbit says only three ships to be scheduled to come here simultaneously. Since it's only got two, I don't think that's the issue. Alright. What's next? What's still broken? Sig data is still catching up. Oh, that's right. We wanted to fix this. Or replace it, rather. Now we've got... 800... How did it... How did this happen? We ended up with, like, 800 less... Of the tier ones and twos. You're joking. No. I never changed the recipe here to use the higher tier. Uh, to, to use the higher tier catalogs for energy science. Oops. Let me revisit these recipes though. Insight. So it's one catalog makes two insight and spits out two blanks. Uh, catalog one and catalog two makes eight. So not exactly double the input for quadruple the amount because the broad catalogs I'm pretty sure are more expensive. But that's already looking better. And then we more than double it again. 8 becomes 18. And this time we're putting in blank data cards instead of getting them back. That's for three whole tiers of different science packs. And then we almost double it again. Yeah, it's got to be worth... It's got to be more resource-friendly to use the higher tier recipes. 
What's our ETA to get back home? Only three minutes. While we're doing that, um, we could maybe refactor something. What I got rid of this? Oh, that's right. The spider had some some stuff to pick up. Where is the spider? There it is. I forgot to replace the charging pack. Episode zero. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Sleepy raid and run? Alright, no worries. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good one. Slay the Spire. Fantastic. I hope you had some blessed runs. How are beads doing? Looks like they're fine. And blue beads, which we had a problem with uh, for a while there, is totally saturated. We actually had to add a Cryonite outpost, but it seems like it's way more than we need now. We did add every single drill on this rather small planet. 16. Gives us 60 per second. I think that almost doubles. What's this, 24? No. 102 to 160. That's more like 103 to 163 per second. Still a pretty big boost. How many modules have we been making lately? Tier 9s only. Uh, only six and five of these in the last hour. Last time we made a prod module was just over an hour ago. Uh, and I don't know how many are in this spike here. So in short, not very quickly. Oh, the speed modules haven't saturated. That's interesting. We did increase our storage space for them, but still. Or we just happened to pick them up with the train recently. Where are the green circuits? Oh. Oh, it's bottlenecked by the inserter. And that's fine. I can live with that. I'm not going to make splitters to put loaders into all of these. I'm sure we'll bottleneck on the resources somewhere. Still a minute 13 on our little trip. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and... No, we, we kind of have to be there. I could use the floor train to pick up a bunch of this stuff. But we're probably going to run out of space. And then we're not bringing floor. So we're going to... We're going to need to be there personally to shuffle this stuff around regardless. Bioscience is completely saturated. Nice suit. What the? When did we uncap our bio one? I don't know, but switched on now. That's kind of a lot. 55,000 science packs just waiting. In 
in any case, it's all quite saturated. Material science as well. Energy science. Uh, 7k. 10, 10, 10. And astro. Wow. Astro 3 is uncapped as well. Not sure why. Couldn't that cause a jam? Astronomic Science Pack 3 less than or equal to zero. Astronomic Science Pack 3. There's no duplicates here. What's different? Did we forget to read the con contents of this? Yeah, we did. So now that's red. Uh, we've got 10k of everything else, so... Hopefully... Well, I guess the output... Yeah, we always made sure the belt output goes before the splitter that gets that type of science pack off the roundabout. And the junk goes to the other side of the belt, so that's actually not causing a blockage, weirdly enough. Cool, cool, cool. And where's the problem with deep space signs? There doesn't seem to be a problem. It is chugging along. But since when? Deep Space Science Pack 1? Hasn't been doing all that much the last few hours. Oh, that would have been because there was no SIG data. Yeah, we're going to have to wait before we find out where the issue is there. Did we bring back the Arcos? We did. How are we doing? I see one C, which is not unusual. But the fact that we can see any of them at all when all of this activity is happening is encouraging. Oh, it is including ones that would be sitting in a requester. Yeah, it's probably fine. Kind of. So what's your problem? Uh, no Deep Space 3s, of course. Sure. Hey, we're back. Snuck up on me. Uh, I don't need this much rail right now. That's full. How close do you think you are to finishing SE? We finished it a while ago, but uh, to reach our targets, I'm not sure. Um, we've got a lot of throughput, we're pushing for a certain arbitrary goal. Three science packs per minute, no matter which, uh, continuous research, no matter which research we're doing. Um, turns out to need a pretty obscene amount of throughput to make it happen for certain resources. Alright, let's start with this. And we'll bring the construction train along. Actually... I'll park the construction train... nearby. But not quite close enough... 
to be in range. Bezloth, welcome in. Why did you remind me Veld? Oh no, not the Arcospheres. No. Did we bring back Arcos? What, by necromancy? No, sadly... Sadly, it can't be done. Alright, uh, we're gonna need some... Let me just double-check the layout of this build again. Not much. So if we put some temp storages down the side, should be fine. Did I bring some? Uh, not real. Kind of. Construction train should have some more. Let's go grab them. Big chests. Big chests, big chests. Those are really big chests. This'll do. Alright. I guess I'll let the, uh... Law Train give us a hand here. Shouldn't be so much on the belts. That it'll get stuck. I could have just done that in the first place. Uh, the thermo fluid drop off is going to be in the same spot. That's very convenient. Let's just pump everything back in here. And pump whatever's left over here out. Is that still connected? Yes, it is. Oh, already empty. Oh. Let's sort out our... Did we turn off these requests? We did. Sort out our catalogs here. Yeah, I figured I'd run out of space. It's about time. There's even more in there. Regardless, uh, let's put energy one, energy two, energy three, energy four. That one, that three. Where's the broad? Oh, there are no broads here. No, I just... That was the broad. Uh, and we never did bring... Extended here, did we? Oops. Uh... I guess that's fine. And out with the energy. Don't need the blanks right now. And 
that just leaves blank cards. Put them in here. Since we've got no material for. Alright. Nice and empty. Where did, where did I put the uh, material inside? I, oh, it's still here. I thought I tossed it somewhere. Oh, regardless. Turn off the provider stations for now. Actually, we do want the fluid to be picked up. How much is left? Just under a train load. Sure. Wait till the light goes yellow. And tell the train to also wait for inactivity. That way we'll get every last drop that we can. We already pumped the thermo fluid. Space here. And give me those cats. Room again. Need to do something about these blanks as well. I want to fix the flooring under here so we're not keeping those. Are you still here? Oh. Oh, there's like 2,000 left over here still. Huh. We can help with that. Oh, wow, that was... That was, that was that, huh. You're still pumping? No? It looks like you're pumping, but you're not. There we go. Why is that so much more effective? Oh, regardless, that's the last of the thermo fluid. And the last of the catalogs. I mean, insights. I guess we'll test these in here. It's actually not that many blanks. Okay, so now we decon all the old floor. We're not going to need these two stations.
gonna need these. Actually... Uh, I might want to keep some semblance of those handy. And then we get rid of every bit of floor that we don't need here. Get rid of the straight rail. And... We're going to turn off the requests here. And do a quick copy-paste. Build it right about here. And replace it with the nice floor. Oh, we do need to make the deep supercomputers still. I don't know if we have two of those lying around. We require... Two neural supercomputers and like 39 Naquium processors to make this happen. Hmm. Oop. Let's just grab these insides. leave those here for now. Head back to the mall. Uh, we do need the construction train to place just a little bit of rail. I guess I need, didn't need to leave it waiting here for so long. Cool, so all that's missing is the deep super comps with uh, a bunch of speed modules. Back to the mall we go. No more speed modules here, we've got 41 though. Uh, so what did I need? The lower tier supercomputers. Neural supercomputer. And we needed like two, I think. Let's borrow the short train over here. Parked right about there. I wonder if this is a condition that would have them wait indefinitely. Quite likely, I think. Alright, we needed like 39 of these, right? That is 34, I believe. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. And head on over here. We're not fully automating deep supercomputers. Mostly because we have to supply them advanced neural gel, and it's a little bit of a pain. Uh, and they're also very, very, very expensive, and we don't need very many for the entire playthrough. There we go. 
as worried about the next tier down. We can just leave that there. And there's our two deep super comps. Let's go place them. Beautiful. Alright. So that is max tier. Oh, wait, we didn't change the recipes yet. Uh, extended energy insight. Extended material insight. And we need to do the station names and requests. I think that's right. Yep. All right. So we just want to change this to 6k and 7.5k for each. Number three and number four. And material. Two. Uh, three and four. But before we start summoning trains, oh, I didn't wait. What? Oh, that's fine. Uh, before we start summoning trains, let's put the stuff that we've already got where it belongs. Yeah, three. And the energy insight. Wait, what? Oh no, this just eats blank data cards. I was thinking of the maxed out SIG data that spits out blank data cards. Okay. Plenty of storage space left. Really, bots? And we want to... I guess we can just forbid all of these to start with. a lot of blanks. Blank, 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 blank. Uh, can we just shift C? Yes and no. Gonna run into trouble. So we can just rebalance it after the fact. There we go. Oh, 
I just can't see that the blanks are in here because there's four other items. Cool, cool, cool. Shazza, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right. Now we can turn on our train requests. And that'll be that. This should say... Energy Insight. And this should say Material Insight. But that's it. Uh, and there should already be thermo fluid on the way here. Yep. And that's the catalog fours as well. Beautiful. Alright, we got that done. No more... procrastinating that one. I do wish I could drag these things around. The tags on the map. Uh, that bothers me. Not gonna lie. Much better. There's already a train picking up catalogs. Cool, cool, cool. Where is it that they get consumed by long trains again? It's to make the SIG data. Yeah. We're waiting on material. How fast is this? Pretty fast. 62.4 per second for one machine. Yeah, that's pretty good. That, that's more than a stack per second. Alright, let me save it real quick. Alright, back to the malt. Oh, I set this to inactivity. Oh no, I didn't put the temp stop in the right spot. So how's our Holmanite doing? I don't imagine it's accumulating. Yeah, no. I guess we would immediately see an icon over here if these two were full. We've got 50 spaceships. I really don't want to add more until we, we're trying to span the science. When we think there's a slim possibility that maybe we've reached all of our targets if we switch everything on. Uh, that's when I'll start adding more spaceships. We're missing tesseracts. Hmm. Why is it so imbalanced? I guess because because we pick this up with short trains, don't we? Yeah, that's why. So it looks like we're bottlenecked on arcospheres again. What's our theoretical consumption of tesseracts? Just for science pack three. Point six per second. Last hour, we've done seven per minute. A little bit more lately. 
That's 10 minutes, 16 per minute. Uh, in per minute, the Tesseracts are 35. Um, that's a lot. That, that's, that's a lot, a lot for Tesseracts. Good grief. We're going to need more Arcospheres, aren't we? And faster bots. Uh, we do keep dipping into having a few bots that aren't in motion. We... Yeah, we might already have enough bots here, theoretically. Or maybe they're just taking too long to get orders. Nah, I doubt it. I think... I think the Logibot would be stuck on 0 out of 50 99% of the time if we didn't have enough bots here. Did we tier 9 this? We did not. I would kind of have to tier 9 both of these beacons if we're still hoping to fold fast enough with just one set of rebalances. Um, but I, I suspect, I don't know, actually, I, I think if we have a hundred Epsilons sitting idle, okay, like 90 plus Epsilons sitting idle right now, I think the problem might not be that we don't have enough Arcos. I think it's probably that we're not able to rebalance them fast enough. How many speed modules do we have? Only 25. So do we consider adding another balancer? How would I even fit it? I'd have to split it up. I guess I could put one here? Kind of? Thanks, I hate it. We already split... We already made a double block for this stuff. And we're trying to keep the area that we cover as small as possible. So that we can have it all covered by bots. Ah... <sighs> We'd obviously need to shuffle around some of these chests if we try to squeeze it in over this way. Alternatively, we could do like six here and four here or something. We could avoid doing the circuitry all over again and just steal the same wiring. And, and literally just have two machines doing each fold. I, hmm. I was going to say I bet that's all we need, but... I don't actually think that it's possible to estimate how much we need just based on the fact that we keep seeing one or two Archosphere C. I don't know, I, I kind of wouldn't... I would expect this to always be zero or flicker onto one if we're really, really, really struggling with it. But that's kind of just really like an intuition. Alright, uh, how about... We get some more grab facilities. Do we have room? We do not. What are we waiting for here? Storehouses. Why do we not have storehouses? And what are the bots prioritizing right now? 
The bots are fine. What's going on with storehouses? I, okay, I don't get it, but I guess we're fine. Um, and we're going to need some plating, but not that much, so I'll just grab some. What else did I just pick up? Plating. I mean, scaffolding. Alright. Let's head back down over here. Ghetto boy, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Should have made a bigger area for Arcospheres. Well, we were trying to keep it small so that we can do it all in one robot network. Also, isn't the point of city blocks to be easily expandable just by slapping down another copy? Yeah, but I didn't... I, I was trying to get away with all of this without duplicating Arcosphere folding in uh, different modules for a change. But in hindsight, maybe we would have been better off with like a folder here or a folder here. But... I bet if you look at the ways all the different recipes lean towards one or the other Arcosphere consumed or produced, like flipped to, um, it's probably better to have it all unified. Anyway, how much of this can we fit in one spot? I almost bet we don't need to double this part, but I guess we'll see. Something like this, I suppose. And somehow we need to get this green wire all the way down here. Sad. We can't squeeze two of these in here, can we? Yeah, we can. It's not going to be all that pretty. But we'll live. Somehow. Nope, that does not reach. Uh, we used the RoboPort as a jumping off point before. So, how are we going to get down here without adding a power pole or something? I don't think we can. That just spits out L and none of this cares about L, right? I'm pretty sure none of these care about L. Okay, that's kind of messed up, sending all of that to the train stop, but we do avoid adding an arbitrary entity. Uh, we also need to expand our small RoboPort, at least down to here. There we go. Alright, and... and uh, 
We need another beacon. Oh no. That's so tacky. Well. It's not like we expected it to go perfectly to plan. Okay. These have already stopped. How... How have you already stopped? Was this holding on to an Arco C? Yeah, it was. Oh, let me guess. We, we've got plenty of theta. We've got 13 theta. That's not that much. It's... What's the average? I would have thought 12 is considerably below the average. Um, we're not really calculating the average here. A chest is a jumping point. Uh, the blue one? I guess we're not using set requests or anything. Does this reach? It does. That's got to be better. Yeah, I, that that's probably better. It's also clearer what's going on here. Um, but yeah, we're not seeing much activity from from this balancer down here for some reason. Are we short on bots? We are. That's why we're researching robot speed. I don't know. I, I imagine... I imagine our overall rate of... Um, of tesseracts, among other things, is going to go up, but it's not that dramatic. I guess we'll give it some time and see if it makes an unexpected difference. I'll just leave that there. Because it might have to ramp up somehow. We did say we don't th think it needs more macrospheres. If we've got such a huge excess of one or two types then it's got to be more throughput to convert stuff to C, for example, and possibly a better algorithm. So the two recipes that spit out C, other than swapping 4 to 4, are located here and here. This one and this one. They're both ready to output. So what, we have too many Omegas? Uh, we've only got 13 Omegas. Yeah, it's like the same deal with Theta. It's about, uh, they're, they're at about the same level, which is not that much. What's the, uh, if we do the compound recipe, I hate to even consider it again, but Arcospheres, Epsilon to see, you're kidding me. The thing that we've got way too much of, that's what our compound recipe would convert to C. Uh, uh, so we really should have the compound recipes, it seems like. Unless you could make an algorithm that do the compound stuff for you, but... 
Who knows if the actual machines could keep up with that. Narcos are based on quantum physics. Don't look at them or they break. Uh, it's eight different... It's eight sets of four. But maybe we just add, like, what we need in particular. Like, what if... Because we keep seeing the same arcospheres that we're short on, right? Like, obviously C is our biggest problem. Uh, and then maybe Gamma is the next biggest one. But, like, if we just add a direct converter for Epsilon to C and see how it goes, and then maybe we end up with Gamma being the bottleneck. And then we just add... Uh, uh, theta to Gamma. And just keep doing that one by one until we achieve balance. Because I'm pretty damn confident we're never going to need C to Epsilon, right? No matter what uh, recipe we need to be spamming, it seems like we're never going to end up with way too many C and no Epsilon. How... I guess I should have brought the trains back. Let's bring the floor train back here. And the construction train over here. Wait, am I in the train? This whole time I thought I was still standing over here. Um, but anyway. So we could fit... Yeah, we could, we could fit like a couple of these over here easily. Let me get out of the train so I can jump into editor mode. Because this was sort of built on the assumption that we'd be using both sides of it. We can fit it up here. Just forget about the aesthetics for the moment. I, I need this connected. Alright. Beacon overload. I could just move this one over a bit. I guess. So here come our Epsilons. Oh, and we need to manually insert... Is it two? How many catalysts do we need? We need a Theta, clearly. Where are my Thetas? Now we don't have any? No, oh, there's 11 somewhere. Uh, here's some. 
one at least. Okay. Theta. I think I remember... Because the catalyst itself will keep getting swapped around. And if we put a second theta in here, basically the whole thing will be able to go twice as fast. Uh, so as confusing as this looks, all it's doing is both of the recipes that require an epsilon uh, start with a theta in here. It spits out the omega that's needed for this one, which spits out the gamma that's needed for this one, which spits out the omega that's needed for this one. Uh, and these are the two recipes that require uh, that spit out a C. Uh, and then this one spits out a theta and we're back to square one. So we can effectively do uh, two epsilons become two C. And we're going to see how that goes. And my hypothesis is Earlier I was going to say gamma, uh, but maybe it's going to be lambda. Like some other arcosphere is going to end up being the one that's in the position that Xi has been in this whole time. Maybe not as severely straight away. And then we do the same thing to get more of that one. Uh, repeat until hopefully this is actually enough. So if we look at, for example, tests are at, um, I don't think this is enough to say that we're definitely seeing an improvement. Uh, production of C, that's only the last like minute or so. I really thought we'd see something a little bit more dramatic. Although it hasn't been running very long. What is this for? Arcosphere 1, whitelist, white. Oh, we don't need this combinator. Wait, what is this even for? Enable, disable, Arcosphere C greater than 0. Oh, I think that was, uh... Yeah, because this is happening unconditionally. I think that was reading from the network, which was all circuit wire. And we obviously don't want to take out the omegas and the thetas. Um, so I don't think we need an, a circuit-based enable-disable. I think we need a logistic network-based enable-disable. So we're going to say if this type is less than 10, spam epsilon to C. All right. It's definitely looking healthier, at least. But I don't think the bots are keeping up. Also Gamma? Also Gamma. Yeah, Gamma's back down to 11. Omega was relatively low earlier as well. Epsilon, Zeta, Phi are the only ones that we haven't seen fairly low any time recently. I wonder if... If I put, like, two more Thetas in here... Oh, it's already not got... 
it already doesn't have epsilons coming in as fast as this these machines can handle it. I don't think we need more Arco spheres at the moment. I think we need faster bots. So the options are spam bot speed or redesign this again and break it into honestly probably like four blocks that each have their own balances which is going to be a lot of redundant processing power to be able to keep everything balanced but it would probably work much better. Alternatively, we could somehow deliver all the arcospheres where they need to be without bots. Uh, it's, it's possible. It's, it's not a prospect I relish. Doing a big sushi belt through this whole place where we keep track of what's on it. And machines can just haphazardly take from it. Okay. Well, in any case, we're just about finished for today. We're actually a bit over time. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It is the only way to be sure. Ian Newer would like nuke. Have you ever been mistaken f for a man? No, have you? Indeed. Uh, where should we nuke? Where shall we nuke today? We could keep nuking the belts. Sushi belt, arcosphere, mm, that won't go wrong in the slightest, right? Especially if we try using a counting system to track what's on the belt instead of like just reading from the whole belt or something. That that's never gonna that's ne never gonna end up with an with an incorrect count, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Let's figure out who we're going to raid today. Who all is playing Factorio? Preferably SEK2. Oh, Mr. Dane. Mr. Dane has been a bit of a default before... That one's not in English. We'll probably end up reading Mr. Dane. I just like to spread it out a bit if I can. Give more people a shot. But if you're here for SEK2, I want to give SEK2. Alright, let's drop in on Mr. Dane. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out, Veldak, Turtle, Ian Noah, Ghetto Boy, everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Uh, Nefa asked, can, can you just duplicate the ones that consume Epsilon? Uh, yes, but they're already bottlenecking on something else. For the moment. See you tomorrow, guys. Thanks, you knew I'd take care. I have to get it somewhere else. Uh, age is just a number. <laughs> D-Hacks! What's up, dude?